President of the United States, Joe Biden, and by comedian Trevor Noah. And uh, Mike Becerra was in the room, our News Nation Washington Bureau Chief. He is joining us now by phone to break down the event. Thank you for making the time. Uh, you should be having fun at the Nerd Prom, Vic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not, I'm not stipulating the fact that I'm a nerd, Ruben. Really. <laughs> it's okay. We're, we're all nerds here. So, what did you think? What stood out to you? Uh, it stood out to me, you know, I've been to this a few years running now for, I guess, a couple of decades, the lack of, <laughs> like, Hollywood celebrities, thank goodness, uh, because, frankly, that was an embarrassment to everybody in the Washington Press Corps. It's just gone out of control um, over the course of the last uh, couple of decades, as I said. Um, you know, you would walk in there, and you know, there's Robert De Niro and Kevin Bacon and Meryl Streep. Uh, tonight, there were very relatively few. Um, a lot of people, including my teenage children, were very thrilled with the fact that uh, I guess uh, Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian were there uh, making this scene, and a rapper by the name of Fat Joe, who I'm told uh, by my 17-year-old is relatively well-known. But um, <laughs> other than that, uh, you know, it was sort of a much more somber, serious First Amendment reminding everybody the role of the press kind of thing. There was also a very conscious effort on the part of Steve Partnoy, who is the chairman of the White House Correspondents Association, the CBS radio correspondent, uh, to let everybody know that everybody there had been vaccinated and tested. And, uh, you know, as a matter of fact, I and everybody else, all, all the other 25 or 2,600 people in the room enjoying their filet mignon surf and turf, <laughs> watch out there, Drew, um, had, uh, had been tested that this very day. That was a requirement and also been vaccinated and had to prove that as well. Um, because there was some criticism uh, after a, another sort of Washington elite dinner, the gridiron, a few years ago, or from months ago, I should say, or maybe I should say a few weeks ago, uh, where a lot of people turned up sick after that. So um, it was a lot of sort of beating the drum about the role of the press and how important it was uh, to American society and to the Constitution in general. Very high-minded stuff that you would, have, you would expect at a press dinner. Uh, but also the usual jokes from President Biden, and I know our viewers watch President Biden make fun of Fox News and, he, and make fun of uh, his predecessor, President Trump, as well, uh, to a lot of laughs in the room. So, you know, people hate this dinner because it's, you know, the Washington elite gathering to celebrate themselves. Uh, there was uh, a decided lack of star power in terms of Hollywood these days. So a slightly different tone, but the same venue and the same sort of atmosphere and the same sort of glad handing and schmoozing the Washington Press Corps executives from New York and Chicago and elsewhere um, making, the, making the rounds in the room. So, you know, it was, it was different in a lot of ways, uh, but in many ways it was quite, quite the same business as usual after President Trump did not come for, many, for, the, for the duration of his, his term in office. And then COVID canceled the last two years, Ruby. Did it have that vibe of, you know, returning after spring break, you know, the nerd prom and everyone's finally back together. It's been two years since there was a White House Correspondents Center. It was boycotted before that for four yeah. years. Was there a sense of jubilation? Yeah. Well, you know, everybody, you know, it, I, you know, the media, like any other industry, has people that have worked together for years and come and go and work in different organizations. And I'm standing outside the Washington Hilton now, the venue, uh, and people are now spilling out in their tuxedos and their gowns. Um, you know, you know, there was that feeling, that feeling um, of getting to getting to see everybody once and again. But I mean, I think you would get that at any convention, whether it's in Las Vegas or New York or or any major city. Um, yeah, but yeah, I mean, I, you know, one point I looked around the room and got, golly, it was packed. You know, 2,600 people in this ballroom where this this event's been held for many, many years, and. Uh, I, I turned to one of my colleagues and I said, I cannot believe that we're all in here and nobody's wearing a mask. Again, everybody's vaccinated uh, and everybody proved that they you know, had an, an antigen test that day. I guess we should point out the fact that the, um, there, you know, there were many stories about the servers were not required to have a test and nobody was checking on the servers according to their union. Uh, but, you know, it was kind of weird. Yeah, yeah. To be there and everybody's doing and we're doing, you know, uh, how are you? Long time no see. Gosh, what are you up to? And kissing each other on the cheek. So it was it was as if nobody missed a beat over the course of the last two years. It was it was really kind of weird in that respect. Yeah.
<laughs> well, I will let you get back to the festivities because I know it's a big night and uh, it's kind of inconvenient to be talking to us here on the phone. You should That's be out okay. celebrating. It's okay. it's my job, Rudy. I'm here for you. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us. Uh, appreciate right. it. It's good to hear what it was like in the room. Vic, thank you. Okay. All right. Bye. All right. And we're going to take a short break and return right after this. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.